I'm awake. My fellow geraniums, our nation's in crisis. Joe Brogan has just said the N-word to Snooky Goldberg. No one's watching the Winter Olympic Biscuits. And I've just been informed the Prez Minister of Canada, Jesse Trombone, has been killed by trucks. He was sorely missed. Not only was he the first black guy Pez minister, he was a great American and also, also a, a great Muslim guy. Our farts and prayers go out to the back. Not, not, not our, our farts. Look, look. There's these trucks. They transform. They turn into robots. Well, man, we got to get, get these things running around, honking, honking around, turning into people. But don't you worry. Don't you fret. Uncle Joy is on the case. First, I sent Pr Vice Principal Canola Hair up to the planet of the truck people to open a dialogue with Ostomus Prime. Second, I've asked Congress to increase my dosage of talkie pills. And finally, I've approved emergency funding to distribute free crack pipes to every man, woman, and trans Jenga. Tell us to stay alert for when the truck people. <laughs> They got maple syrup for blood, man. Stupid bastard doesn't even know Wimpy Goldblums. I shoot my show alone in my house. They said I was too offensive. Good evening and welcome to At Home with Sly Stallone. Starring me, Sylvester Stallone, and my good friend Kurt, who lives in my converted garage. And now it's time for At Home with Sly Stallone. You know? Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to At Home with Sly Stallone. You thought I was down. But I was not down for the count. I am back. And I ain't going nowhere. Let's be my good friend Kerbos. Mr. Hey, Kerbos, welcome Sly, to the show. You happy back. to have me back or what? Come on. Yeah, I, I am glad to have you back. It's been like, where, you, where are you? Where were you? Come on. I was shooting my own. In the, I'm glad you asked because I wanted to talk about my new project, you know. Because oh. this YouTube show is fun and everything, but I do movies, you know. Right. So you have a but, new movie? Uh, Oh, so you remember the Rambo? What? Huh? What? What? Oh. What? Did you get up? Did you, you get talk? <laughs> we were on a movie. Remember the, remember the Rambo movie? Let me show a clip of my old Rambo movie, because this is what I'm doing, which I'll tell you about. Probably shouldn't tell you about. This is it's the a sequel, sequel to it. To, to which Rambo movie? I'll, sh I'll show you this last one. Stallone is back. There's something wrong with me. I'm all tired and scrawny. I better go see a doctor, you know? This time, he has AIDS. Wait, Doc, are you telling me Rambo has the AIDS? But that hooker told me I was her only client. Hey, yo, Nancy, it's Rambo. Listen, you better check yourself for AIDS, because I have the AIDS. I think the fight's here, and the whole time the fight is inside Rambo's body? Come on. Rambo. HIV blood. Hey, AIDS. I'm coming for you. You know? I, re I remember that one. Yeah. That, yeah. Big hit. So anyway, during you know, my, <laughs> my times alone, I decided to uh, make a sequel. I can't tell you what it is, though. Top secret. Oh, all right. Okay, cool. I'm glad it's great. I'm glad you're making that. I can't tell you what's, what the sequel is about. I know you probably want to know, but... No, I mean... Sorry, I get guys. It. It's a live show. You don't want to. You can't. That's cool, though. I'm, I can't wait to see it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you a little bit of what it is. Okay. So the president's got, you know, coronavirus, and he tells the boosters all this stuff. Nothing's working. So they call Rambo and they shrink me down to a little Rambo, right? Okay. And then I get into like an IV thing, and they shoot me in there, and then I go, "Hey, hey you're COVID." I'm coming for you. You know, that's so, all I can say, though. It's like a sci-fi element. It's sci-fi. It's it's a lo-fi. It's all. The, oh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> right. Um, anyway. Okay. Well, I'll, sounds... I'll maybe maybe the trailer or something next week. But why don't we start off the show 
okay. with one of my favorites. Because we haven't done one of my favorites in a long time. Well, 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 well hold on, hold on. Just look, because I'm really happy you're back, and I, I don't want yeah. anything. I don't know if you, I mean, you've probably been busy with the movie, but like a lot of people have been getting in like trouble for all kinds of stuff. You know, you're, you're my favorites could be like kind of edgy and like, I don't know if you saw like Joe Rogan or Whoopi Goldberg or mm. there's people that are going to like make compilations of, so I'm just, some of these get a little bit, I know you don't I mean, don't know what mean bad. About. Well, just, just please don't, if it's something that you don't is, what? If, if someone we get in trouble for it or something, like no, maybe it's push it to like, it's no trouble. Okay. It's no trouble. It is it's just, not, it's the innocent, my favorites. Okay, just I'm just looking out for things. you, dude. I'm just looking out for you because I... Pre- I, I appreciate that, kid. Okay, all right. There's no problem here. Okay. All right, let's take a look, baby, at my favorites. My favorite N-words. Jesus right, Christ, don't do that, do Sly. My favorite N-words, oh, number wow. one, nipple. That's a great N-word right there. It ain't the boob, but it's kind of part of it. My next favorite N-word. Nap. Okay. Hey, the sun might be up in the sky, but my head's on the pillow sometimes, you know? Right. All okay. right. Next, negotiation. Hey, Kurt, everything in life is a negotiation. Right. You mm-hmm. know that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's move All it. Right. Keep it. Mm. My last favorite N-word, nincompoop. There's no funnier way to call someone a moron. They call it a manicum poop. Oh, wow. My favorite anyways. Okay, I'm, I, I can't tell you how relieved I am about where that, where, where that went. I don't know what you were thinking. But, you know, when I want to relax, sometimes I, I like the, uh, the sound of a hearty anyway, you know? All right. Uh, like Ann, 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 not like a, uh, maybe say like yeah, word, and, words and, that and, begin yeah, with Ann. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. That, excuse me, careful. Is that Alex? Alex. Yeah, I bought that off him. That's my new NFT I bought <laughs> oh, from is. Alec. It cost me $2 million. Worth every penny. Keep on. Hey, I want to do, the, I want to do some yours right now to cleanse your palate. Oh, you right, know? Yeah. But mm-hmm. uh, here's what we want to do. Because, you know, sometimes YouTube tries to keep us down, Scalonius. So mm-hmm. we're going to hack into the algorithms a little bit. <laughs> and we're going to put some of our yours in the comments. You know, he's a part of Ragum. If you leave a lot of comments, the, the YouTube's gonna think this is an interesting right. show. Everyone's commenting on it. All right, so let's get these yours going. And I wanna see some downstairs in the comments. Let's go with some yours. <laughs> All right, come on. Let me see those yours. You can Natural put them in the, yo. the lives, but also put them downstairs. Come on. Let's okay. see these yours. Come he on. He was a green haired Kaiba, yo. Green haired Kaiba, Kaiba, yo. We got a B-52, yo. Look at that. A hot 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 yo. yo. A hermanota, yo. We got baby <laughs> sister, yo. Let's have that baby sister, yo. We have boss, yo. Not Craig, yo. Excuse me, for, excuse me from Ryan. A yo from Jason. We got a kid nurse, yo. Marco, yo. Uh, 52, yo. A Roscoe, yo. Kevin, yo. Oh, me, uh, rough enough, well, Ru, yo. Uh, Wolf and House Mary gives a yo. Dan W, yo. Telepathics one, yo. Good yos, guys. George Costanza, those are some good yos. Danny Riley, yo. Yo, Loam. Loam. Chip Daddy at 1000, yo. Mike Arnett, yo. Andy's Newt. a member. Oh, Andy's a member. All right. Uh, Joey's was whiskey, yo. Uh, it's time for Caitlin's Cameo Game with Peter the Perb and your host, me, Caitlin Jenner. Yeah. yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Why was that on the baby? All right, welcome to Caitlin's Cameo Game. Brand new game for you guys. Let's meet our co-host, Peter the Perb. Peter, come on in here. Hi, Peter. Hi, Caitlin. It's really great to be here. Yeah, how are you? I'm I'm really good. I, I went to the grocery store today. Well, that's nice. You get some vegetables. And no, I just followed some... this woman around with my mirror shoes. Just oh, kidding. Peter, that's that's probably illegal. I don't know. Well, I'm doing fine. If you could ask how I'm doing. Uh, how, how how are you doing? It, it doesn't matter. Let's bring in our contestant for the day. Who's in here? Hayden. 
Mm. I'm really excited to meet hey, you. Hey, you guys at home, you play along too, okay? Hey, hey guys. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, let's, let's get, I think we have the baby at the helm. <laughs> hey, baby. You're kicking, you're kicking ass. You're kicking ass. Yeah, baby. All right. What's the baby's really mean? kicking ass, Caitlin. Yeah. There's a lot to do. Oh, Hayden, where are you from? I'm from Denver. Denver. Wow. Yeah. Looks they got a lot of great thrift stores, according to your sweatshirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really nice. We got a late yo there. Here's another late yo. Homeless American yo. You're not homeless, are you? Me? Uh, no. Not right now. All right. That's good to know, huh? <laughs> right, Peter? That's really good to know. All right, Peter. Tell us how you play the game. Okay, well, the, well, the thing about the game is that I'm really good at it, and you're playing against me, Hayden. What's going to happen is we're going to watch a celebrity cameo, and then we have to, you have to guess what, what, what they charge for their cameo, and then, and then if it's uh, whoever's closer wins. All right. All right. That was great, Peter, and there's nothing pervy about that. And then what happens if, if, if you win, Hayden, then I send, send my pubes in the mail to you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Peter! Stop it, Peter! Hayden's our guest. All right. Hey, baby. Who's our first cameo? Is that uh, Sarah Palin? Hello. Okay, what am I going to say? Okay, that looks like they suck, according to that. <laughs> All right, now you guys have to guess. How much does Sarah Palin charge for her cameo? Don't you cheat at home, guys. Put them in the comments. Hey, Peter, first. you go first, Peter. What oh. do you think? Okay, I'm going I'm to go first. I'm going I'm to say that she's up in Alaska. She was governor of Alaska, and she's around probably a lot of moose, and they have moose knuckles, and I want to touch a moose knuckle. Just kidding. <gasps> Peter! I'm saying... I'm Peter, saying, just guess. $210. $210, all right. Ooh. Hayden? Um, I'm going below that. I'm going uh, $150. 150 All right. This Pickle is locked. You all like locked your pickles? Lock pickle. I like my pickles. Yep. All right, pickle. fantastic. All right, lock that pickle. All right, let's see. How much is Sarah Palin? Oh. $200. Peter, you were right on the money there. I think it's so right on the money. <laughs> uh, right off by like a penny. All right, this is a fun game. And uh, let's go to our next round. Let's have some people at home guess, too. Our next uh, cameo is Chewbacca. Chewbacca is the cameo. Now, what is Chewbacca? This is interesting. Who's, Hayden, who's, who's gonna go first? Hayden's gonna go first. Hayden, what do you think Chewbacca charges? Can't be oh, cheap, man. baby. It cannot be cheap. It's gotta be above Sarah Palin, right? I mean, what are we talking? 350 for a cameo from? Maybe. 350. Who knows how much money a Wookiee needs, though? All right, Peter, what are you thinking? It'd be really fun to have Chewie as a really good friend that you could hang out with, but then I'd be worried about his lipstick dick like a dog has. Just kidding. <gasps> oh, my God. Can we just play the game, Peter? $700. There's a lady here. $700? That $700. sounds really Because of Star Wars. Let's $300 from someone there. Baby, let's see a clip of uh, Chewbacca. Jim, it's Jonas Swarthmore here. I play Chewbacca in the Star Wars films. He's not even Chewbacca. That's so weird that he's not Chewbacca. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna pay for Chewbacca, you want Chewbacca, right? Yeah, if, you, if you also Chewbacca does, you never know where the pubes start and end with a beast like that. Just kidding. Peter. All right, let's get in your cash edge. Hayden, what do you think? Are you gonna lock that pickle? Oh, you gotta lock Somebody's the pickle. Lock the pickle. pickle locked. Did you guys guess already? I don't remember. I said seven hundred. Three fifty for me. Three fifty. All right. And Chewbacca charges. One. 110. Man. Who won that? I think they hate him. Right, I win. All right. Well, All man, right. This, is the last, this is the last round of Kaylin's Gabriel game. And uh, if you win this, uh, Hayden, you get to pick a t shirt out from our t shirt shop. Isn't that fun? That's great. I can replace this sweatshirt. Yes. <laughs> you could probably go someplace nice like Chuck E. Cheese or something. Hey, I don't know what's around your house. Hey, Hayden, Hayden could also have, I could send my, I could send my, my, my shirt oh, it was stains on it. Just kidding. <laughs> He's not going to want that, Peter. All right, let's see our last cameo, baby. Hello, this is Demos from Katie Schmidt. Happy Valentine's Day to you. That, I what was that, a dreidel on his head? That's like, that's like a real-life Picasso painting or something. Just kidding. His yeah, face looks would... so confusing. All right, let's get your guess. I'm going to guess curve. $69. $69. Oh, $69. Okay. Hey, yes, because you... $69 is when, is when two people are eating each other's genitalia. Oh, my. No. Just kidding. Oh, Peter, there's a lady here. <laughs> so terrible. What's your guess there, Hayden? 
Well, then I'm going 420. 420. Oh, boy, this is for all the marbles. See if you're going to win a, a T-shirt. Let's uh, see what. See what's going on here, baby. Oh. Whoa, $400. Really good job. He won. Did you win? He did win. He won. <gasps> all right, Hayden wins. Yes. Thank you, Hayden. Thank you. All right, what a what a that was a, a pretty exciting game. You did very well, Peter. Thank you very much. I'm really excited yeah. about it. Yeah, you know, I, have a, I, yeah. Go ahead. Now, did you have did you have a good time? Or? I had a really good time. Okay, good. But you know, I'm, I'm not wearing any pants, and I'm sitting on the sweater that this. I still oh love my woman, god! Now both of our scents are on the sweater. Both of our smells. That's just disgusting. Kidding. All right, we're gonna go to a, a commercial. You you clean yourself up, Peter. Put on some pants. And uh, it's Brick House. If you guys need some nutrition, you can uh, help out the show and get some Brick House. If you're going to get some anyway, right, Peter? That's right. I think there's some, some percentage off. Oh, my God. All right, we'll be right back, baby. It's time for Caitlin's Cameo Game. All right, Mr. Pickle, are you ready to do a Brick House commercial for the people? Yeah, I guess, but Ooh. I just want to quick talk to you about my check like i'm supposed to get my paycheck um, all right we'll earn it first all right this commercial is already for brick house nutrition okay uh, let's do blur. what okay. let's do it then let's do the brick house ad we're doing this. it right now mr pickle what do you have to right. say about brick house field of greens is a really great product one of their awesome field products green. on their product line uh it's backed by science they use 100 uh, percent usda science. organic fruits and vegetables we're uh, gonna helps with overall being so get all your greens green. let's get to all your greens with Field of Greens, don't you know? Ooh. Wow, that was like the best song you've ever done, man. They've got other products too, by the way. Sounds like yeah. an insult there. What else do they have? Well, they got all your days covered. They've got Dawn to Dusk, which is amazing. That he heightens your mental focus. Dawn to Dusk heightens your focus. And they've got Dreams, and that's the stuff, and it improves oh, your sleep quality. I've used it, it helps you sleep there. You know, I do most of my songwriting in my sleep. Also, Brickhouse has protein powder and peptides for your skin. Does Brickhouse help your PMI, your pickle to mass index? Ooh, great joke. That's there. the joke. That was I was supposed to deliver that joke when we did rehearsal. Well, you don't tell people that, do ya? Yeah, you but know, I wrote it's the, the joke illusion. For me. It doesn't matter. You wrote it. I said it. So you just move on. You know, when John would sing a song lyric, I wrote. I wouldn't pop my head in and go, I wrote that. You know, well, just that, that was what going to be my little funny line in the commercial. So. It's called being a team player. All right, get okay, your well, house. Can, yeah, tell them about the promo code. Promo code no. Kyle, fifteen percent off. Link below. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't think I want to work here anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys want to do some baby supposed news? To, sorry, supposed to be. Supposed to be. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. do some baby news. Uh, Jonathan. Oh wow, Grandpa. Hi. You, you, I, I have a, a bone to pick with you, young man. Um, that, is your grandpa? This is my yes. How did you get in here, Grandpa? Uh, that last, that last uh, character you did was dirty, dirty, and well, I didn't like it at just, all. Well, it's just a character, Grandpa. So, hey, 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 John's just Grandpa. A my name's Kurt. Hi, Hello hi, there, Kurt. This Hello is my there. grandpa Del. He he's uh, he's Del Del LaRue. LaRue. He's 102 years old. Wait, are you Del Larue, the famous vaudeville? It's exactly right. I'm 102. Yeah, wow. Used to, I told right. you about him. He used to be in the vaudeville days, like 20s and 30s, the uh, Orpheum circuit. I I I I I make my own tap shoes out of bubble gum and nickels. Oh my but God, I've been well, doing that for 80 years. Oh, Mr. Larue would be a real honor to hear one of your songs. I, I'm a, such no. a fan. And I'd I, um, love to sing a song. Thank you very much. for. I, I wish John had told me you were his grandfather. I never turned down a performance. Let's see here. All right, here's our little song for you. This one's Hot Off the Victrola. It's not dirty either, right? Like, no, not dirty at all. Mm. Well, let me tell you a story about a gal I used to know. She said, don't come in the front. The back's where the milk should go. The problem was, it was rusty and brown. It was hard to get inside. My back door girl used her hands and spread the back door wide. Let's dance, ah! Oh. Well, 102. <laughs> so, <laughs> Grandpa. Grandpa Dell? 
interrupting that, my performance there. That wasn't Ron's clean. Great. That was dirty. What? Like that you was talked clean. To you were saying. That was not back door. He's talking rusty. about delivering milk. Then sometimes That's you have exactly to the back right. door. I used to deliver milk. And they don't like it in the front because it makes you know, the house not look as nice. So they say, bring yeah. it around the back door. I the feel, back, I feel like you know. dirty okay. mind thinking. All I'm right. going to tell well, you a little about the pornography in your well, skull there. Thanks Back for then, yeah. One sec, can I? Thanks for being on the show, Adele. Appreciate it, but we got to yes, move on. You. It was a great so, honor. I, well, you I, never I, call me. I would love to hear another song on the show. That, that was that one was well, wonderful. I never turned down a chance to perform. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> ah. Here we go. Sit back and relax, and take it in. Ah. My girl's a ragtime squirter, she's my squirting gal. I couldn't believe how well she could squirt, I decided to bring around my pals. So we went down to the five and dime to watch my best gal work. And to my surprise, she didn't just squirt, she gave the boys a jerk. Oh, now it's that. She's my ragtime squirter, ragtime squirting gal. Okay. Wow, he so moves, man. That, how that. could... What is no, it? No. How no. can you guys believe that's clean? That's an that old was... timey. You ever heard of Woolworths and they had a, a soda jerk and a lemonade squirter? Okay. You don't know a lot I... of stuff. That's why you rely on blue material. Maybe I've it's been exactly doing exactly right. I never worked blue. I must be doing Peter the Pope too long, and I'm starting to like become too perverted. Clean it up. And yeah. Call me. It's good you can look inward, though. All I right. Just, I'll... You know. I'll, Goodbye, right. Cap. Nice meeting you. I'll, I'll it call was an you. honor, sir. Thank you for your service. Uh, and, and there's <laughs> one other thing. What? Oh. So, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is what, the other? What is it? <laughs> well, the girls, they'd make me ejaculate. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, see? He's, was that, he, a... that was dirty. Yes. <laughs> you guys... I really, uh, you know, what's amazing. Like back then, they had they did it all. Like, like they yeah, could sing and dance, and, like like Jimmy Durante. Like Jimmy Durante did yeah, all of right. it, song and dance and comedy and yeah. Yep. Are you guys ready for some baby news? Yeah, that's a bit okay. made, yeah something young now. I guess this is like a... okay. Okay, uh, tonight's top story is the Kyle Dunnigan show is offering memberships. Memberships include behind the scenes of the writing process and the creation of characters, access to the after party show with Kyle and friends, plus all the past after parties you missed. The New York Times says, wow, all that bonus content, plus I get to support my favorite show for all less than one Starbucks coffee a month. Sign me up. Ba oh, baby, that's an ad. Uh, and the new, that's the New York Times said that about. That's the news story. Um. Where's the music? Oops, I... What? <laughs> What's happening? Um, I just want to say thank you for considering supporting the channel. It would really help us out. I don't have any food to eat. have any milk for my bottle oh well <laughs> I don't know what's I don't know is what's this the news on. Also, wow. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, and I don't know where Jessica just went. Baby Jessica? Well, I had an idea, by the way, before. Yeah. For, uh, I think Peter the Perv and Caitlin should have, like, a UFO hunting show, like Demi Lovato has with her best Oh, uh, that would be great. That'd be killer. Just see them get to the bottom of it, you know? Yes. But, <laughs> Peter the Perv is like a, like, like, Kate. he's not a gay friend, but he's like her, you know. Kind of. Confidant, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Mickey Mouse onesie is fire, baby. Says Spot Center, Nana, Nana. What Mickey Thank Mouse? You. Oh. Thank you. 
Um, do you guys want another baby news story? Oh, I, sure. An, a news story would be good. None of okay. nothing like that was news. Before, before um, so Twitter gets cheeky over Super Bowl contest offering cash for poop pics. Tushy Bidet, co a company, is offering $10,000 for the best poop post-Super Bowl photo, poop photo sent in on what's called Super Bowl Monday. Is so, this a Peter the Perv bit? That <laughs> yeah, so it has to be a poop that you take after you've eaten all that horrible Super Bowl food. That's pretty frightening. Yes. How are they going to be able to check to see that it's not one you took before and right? just took a picture? Like, how are you going to ensure that it's that day's poop? I think they just want it to be sent in after that day. They're going to announce it. Is that so you could, yeah. I I probably wouldn't be too honest about that. I'd just probably take poops throughout the week and then hey. try to figure out. You know, hey, hey can, I, can I talk to Kurt for a second alone? Sly, you're at Dell. Yeah, Del I went to Dell's house. I came to Dell's house. That guy's a talent. Yeah, that's you know? true. Yeah. They don't make him like that anymore. That's why I said to John. I had to get out of that baby news. I thought just me and you. It's a little... It's not enough Stallone and Kerb, I thought. We yeah, should that, end I, the I, show. Sure. We start the show. Me and you should end it, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. It's called Symmetry. I'm excited about your movie. Yeah, you know what it's called? Rambo IV. What, like, like Rambo 4? Didn't you make Rambo 4? No, what? IV. You have 4. IV no, is four. Kerb. I and V are letters, Kerb. They are not numbers. That's what? embarrassing that you would think that. What, you've That's like you've a, never heard of that. You have like a brain disease. You're like kerplexic or something. The, I swear to God, that's real. I am IV. Checked. What is so? What does IV mean? Intra, intravenous. Oh, I see. They go into, into intravenous into the bodies of other people, tiny and Rambo-like. There's actually another piece from uh, my last movie I want to show. Up. This has got gravitas. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> You want to see it? You may yeah, remember this, to. but I want to show it. Because okay. this movie, too, has gravity. I want people to go see it. Excuse me, yo! <laughs> Look at that. That helps my NFT to get that out. So thank you for getting Excuse Me out. All right, here it is. Rambo. HIV blood. Okay, Rambo, your checkup is done. Don't eat fat food. Eat good food. Hey, yo, thanks for Dr. News Hour, dude. Okay. Oh, hey, Doc, I have a question. Yes, Rambo. For the past few weeks, I've been making love to this new girl, Teresa. I really like her. Do, you, do, do, do I have to tell her I have AIDS? Yes, of course you do. Hey, don't yell at me. I got a PhD, too. In dead. Okay. But maybe you're right. I'm just scared I'll lose her, you know? I gotta tell you... That I have AIDS And I'm not looking forward to it You may say it's gross And throw Rambo shade And that would just break my heart <clears throat> Part of me just wants to skip it You'll probably be just fine You know? But there's an 83% chance you won't be Which would plague my brains Knowing I gave you AIDS but then again, Teresa, I don't want to lose you. Maybe I can go a few more weeks without telling you. Here's an idea. How about when we get back from our trip to Monterey? I'll break the news. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> How about that? I forgot that you sing. Uh, yeah, I'm like my brother Frank. I got some nice <laughs> pipes, too. Get out. <laughs> it's a fun um, show, huh? Yeah, that, uh, I had a good time. I'm, we met a great uh, Del LaRue. I didn't know you guys knew each other. Oh, he's just my, next door to my house. So I pop in here all the time. Brilliant guy. Yeah. Hey, let's go to, we're going to go to the after party. If you're members, you can come to the after party. I think Wendell might be there. A few other people. It's a fun time. You just got to simply join by doing like 19,000 things for YouTube. <laughs> Baby Mandy, $5. Thank you. I didn't see what it said. Can we get a smile? Look, there's another baby there. Hey, Kirk, you want to come close to me and smile for the Stallone? Okay. This is as close as I can get. Yeah, just getting close to me. Let's touch faces here. You're on the wrong side. Yeah. Your face looks enormous compared to mine. <laughs> Why? Okay. You got a serious case of Kirplexia because everything you do is backwards. <laughs> Here's a smile. Ready? There you go. All right. Everybody, thank you for watching. Thank you, Brickhouse. 
uh, join the channel, do what you do, and uh, let's send uh, everybody out with some yells and fight back. It's time for a yo. Let's fight back against YouTube and put some yells downstairs. Come on. <laughs> Let me get those yells out there. Come on, Grandpa. You read them yells, Cap. I like okay. when you read. Jimbo C says yo. Jimbo C yo. A B C yo. Here's a member right there. <laughs> Human, Human being yo. Here's a member. Alcoholic. A lot of good yells from alcoholics. There's a yell all around the world. Yo. Yeah, these yells My come beagle, yo. all over the world. Zach's movie is long, Zach's yo. Zach's movie is here from the United States. Brian Jones <laughs> is. Yo. Russ Savage, yo. Uh, Russ Savage, yo. You Craig guys Long, have yo. a great weekend. You Move have a on, good yo. time. Long, you come back and you keep on what? Punching? Punching.